the world was once enslaved by the evil front named Kek. Kek battled and killed many. There was no hope until two brave warriors helped to defeat Kek twice. Now the two warriors will face a challenge more powerful than anything they've ever seen. Do you have any oats, brother? I am quite famished. If you come near my oats, I'll cut you. Calm down, Cyclo. I am your older brother. I raised you myself. Don't you think you owe me something in return? No. Why do you keep trying to guilt trap me? Don't be silly, brother. I am not trying to make you feel guilty. I am simply explaining how you have failed the one person who cares about you. And don't worry about me, it's not like I'm starving or anything. Just give me the answer already. Brother White. I just saw the postal man drop a letter off It looks important. Let me see that letter. I think it says that it's now illegal to fry potatoes. Brother you can't read. Oh yeah, that's right. It says, Dear Oat Brothers, I'm having a birthday party today and I would like to see you there. We will eat plenty of oats and oat flavored cake. It's from Green Bean. Let's go immediately, brother. What are you two doing here? We received your letter in the mail. It said you were having an oat party. That's not what the letter said. I was just trying to tell you about the new potato law. But since you're here, I need to tell you boys something. The evil overlord kick? Wasn't always a bad guy, when Kick was just a small child, his parents loved him very much. He was born with a strange power though, greater than anyone had ever seen. People treated him as different. One night, his parents were asking him what he wanted for dinner, when they heard a loud knocking at the door. There was a serial killer on the loose as well. Stay downstairs son, we are just going to check on the door. It is probably just another salesman but also put on these sound-canceling headphones for no particular reason. Kek waited for his parents to return, and then, a strange pig with a scar came down the stairs instead. It was a local serial killer who had been all over the news, he would have killed Kek too, but he sensed that Kek was too powerful and left the area. After Kek found out that his parents were killed, he made an oath to destroy and save all pigs, and ban oats. After that, Kek became an enemy to all. And if it weren't for you, we would have all died. But there is something else I need to tell you. Wait, that still makes him a bad guy, if you vowed to enslave all pigs and banos. Don't make me cut you, brother. I'm right you know. And give me that knife before you hurt someone. Fine, take the stupid knife. So, what were you going on about, again? As I was saying. I used to be part of an underground street racing group known officially as the Underground Street Racing Group. Wow. But wait, there's more. Hello, Green Bean. I didn't expect to see you two boys here. How's it hanging? Hello Big Pete, long time no see. Indeed it has been. What are you two doing here? Have you come to discuss the new potato law? We've come to listen to Green Bean's story, actually. Oh, is it the one about the serial killer and the street racing group? Well, why don't I tell you about that story instead? Me and Green Bean used to be in the same street racing group. We would have competitions to see who the best racer was, and I was always on top. We would hang out in alleyways, and any place we could find. The day I met Green Bean, I was so mystified at why she was green. So I asked her, why are you green? And she said, I just stole 300 oats from somebody on the street, but the victim survived. So I spray painted my whole body green so that no one could identify me as the thief. I thought this idea was brilliant. If I ever committed a crime, and the victim got away, I could just spray paint myself and no one would recognize me. I don't quite understand. What does this have to do with the serial killer? 
Brother, I think Big Pete is a serial killer. Nonsense. What would make you think that? Fine boys, before it's too late, save yourselves. After everything we've been through, you couldn't kill me. I've never had any feelings for any of you. I used you all this whole time. I couldn't kill Kick myself so I needed the two brothers to defeat him for me. But now, my power is greater than it's ever been. And once those two brothers are dead, no one will be able to stop me from killing everyone in this entire world. Before you kill me, there's something I need to tell you. I've always sort of loved... No need to finish that sentence. I can't let those two get away. Brother, we have to get away. He killed Green Bean. Our goose is cooked. Just keep running, brother. He's coming after us. You boys can't escape me. Run faster, brother. Collect all of your prized possessions, brother. We might never come back here. Can I have my knife back already? No, I am keeping the knife. Now, brother, gather all of the oats and let's split. Big Pete is on his way. Brother, even if we can kill Big Pete, I'm afraid too. He is like our only friend. Well, he doesn't seem like much of a friend anymore. I see what you mean, brother. Now, give me all of your oats. I need them for power. I am the stronger one here, so I should be the one to kill him. No, brother. I still think we should give him a chance. Let's run away a little bit longer and see if he gives up. Fine, but you still have to give me your oats. I can't believe I let them get away. They won't get far. My whole plan is messed up now. I was supposed to get them first, but they weren't in the barn when I checked. I guess I'll have to make a change of plans on my to-do list. Hello there, my name is Big Pete, I talk loud because I am big, yo, are you truly my creator? I am Joe Jopo, the creator of all. What is your business with me, Big Pete? Stop right there. My name is Conspiracy Pete, I've come from the past with the two old brothers to stop your reign of terror, in the afterlife, I begged the creator to bring me back, I once thought the creator was the enemy, but it was you this whole time. The creator allowed me to come back so I can prevent you from killing him. You stand no chance. Conspiracy Pete, no need for introductions. I've killed you before, and once the creator is dead, there will be no one with the power to bring the dead back to life. You made one foolish mistake by going to the past. These two Oak Brothers are not nearly at the level of power that the current Oak Brothers are at. All four of you are ants to me now. I wasn't expecting this, but fortunately it isn't a problem. Prepare to die. Unless there are any other interruptions, prepare to die. Once you are out, there will be no one left to bring the dead back to life. Even the two current Oak brothers are too weak to defeat me now. My plan is unfolding just fantastically. But Pete, but Pete I must I live, must I am too important. I am the creator. <laughs> Like I was saying, everything is going fantastically. Well look at this, if it isn't my fake best friend Pork Chop the Rapper, and his new friend, Small Pete. I was saving you for last. I can't believe you tricked me. We saw what you did Pete, Small Pete has been working out so much that he changed colors. We won't let you kill us again. All that working out means nothing. Besides, once I kill you this time, there will be no one to bring you back to life, you will be gone forever. 
And besides, everybody knows the only way to kill a ghost is by beating it in a rap battle. Yo, it's Big Pete. I am a serial killer. I'm sick in the head. But on the mic I'm even iller. I've killed hundreds. Yeah, boy. I'm out of my mind. But my sick raps are the only bars I've ever been behind. Ha ha ha. Is that the best you've got? You'll never beat me with rhymes like that. You might have more power than us all, but your rap game is still as bad as it has always been. I can't believe you were by my side for all those years, and you never learned anything from me. You were actually taking time to think of your lines too, it needs to flow, Pete. The only way to kill a ghost is by rap, therefore, you'll never be able to beat us. Now, let me and my new best friend. Small Pete, show you how it's done. Kick that sweet track. Yee. All I ever wanted to do was eat oats, brother. How did it ever come to this? Well, brother, we may not have chosen how this thing started, but we will decide how it ends. Brother, I've been thinking about what you said, and I like Big Pete too much to kill him. We should try to find a good hiding place. If we get out of this situation alive, brother, I will give to you half of my oats. I promise that I'll always share my oats with you in the future as well. You don't know how long I've waited for you to say that to me, brother. Maybe if we give oats to Big Pete, he will spare us. Big Pete doesn't care about anyone, he just wants to see us all dead. All we can do is hide for now, brother, and see what happens his kind can't be reasoned with I'm sure of it. Brother, using my super awesome teleportation technique, I will teleport us to safety. Hold on to your oats, brother. Actually, brother, don't forget I have power of my own. I trained under Ket back when I was a member of the Order of the Dark Oats. Allow me to teleport us to safety. My teleportation technique is much cooler than yours, and not only that, but it is blue raspberry scented. will never find us out here, brother. This is the perfect hiding place. No one will ever find us here. I finally found you. Are you kidding me? I am the almighty Janitor Jenkins. The most powerful break dancer in the entire universe. I told you we would meet again, and the time has come. Today I will defeat you with my awesome break dancing technique. I have been practicing for the past six months. That's incredible, Jim Kings, but something horrible is happening. We actually need your help. We can't afford to fight each other. How dare you mispronounce my name? For that, I will destroy you two. Neither of you stand a chance against my awesome breakdancing technique. I have defeated exactly 69,000. 420 warriors in the past using my awesome breakdancing skill, and you two are my next victims. Listen to me you fool, if we don't stop Big Pete, we will all become his victims. Big Pete you say? I've never heard of him, he must be incredibly weak. You are idiots to compare anyone to me. Some people call him, Massive Peter Giganticus, the large. Wait a second, you were talking about Massive Peter Giganticus, the large? Why didn't you say so? I stand no match for him. Yesterday night, I was mopping the floors of the old school, like I always do, when Massive Peter Giganticus the large approached me. He said to me, that's a nice mop you've got mind if I hold it. He snuck up behind me and drank all of my mop juice. Oh. 
that juice was the source of that juice was the source of that that juice was the source of all my power. After he drank all of my mud juice, he became more powerful than I, although I don't like to admit it. I am actually the second strongest in the universe now. Massive Peter, Giganticus, the large, is unstoppable. There is nothing we can do, even if we team up. We might as well continue our break dance fight. It is the last fun thing we'll ever do. He drank your all powerful mob juice. It looks like this really is the end. We need a miracle to save us now. Well, it looks like there's nothing we can do. There must be hope. We are miracle workers, we can sort this all out. No we can't, we are all dead, all of us, erased from existence permanently, there is no hope. But wait, I've been watching over Pete for a very long time, maybe there is something I can do. There is nothing you can do, miracle worker number 27. I am miracle worker number 10. And this blue thing here is miracle worker number one. She and I have been in the profession of miracles for thousands of years, and none of us have ever seen a threat like this. There is no way that a newbie like you would be able to do anything. We have no other choice. If you just want to sit up here and wait for your deaths then go ahead. But I am going to intervene for all of us, and I will risk myself to save us all. I was born in the desert, so I know how to handle the heat. So, are you ready to hear some heat? We will defeat you easily in this rap battle. How come the beat hasn't started yet? Because I killed the DJ. Oops. Well, I guess if you aren't going to start then I might as well take a second turn. Wait, that isn't how it works, stop him. I have an oat so big that I can't fit it in this galaxy. Wait Pete stop, that's my line, you stole it from me. I have an oat so big, that I can't even fit it in this universe. His bars are too strong, I can feel myself fading away. Pete you wouldn't do this to your best friend, would you? I have an oat so large, I can't even fit it in this entire dimension. No, he's defeated us. Alright then, Janitor Jenkins, I agree to have your break dancing battle. But I should warn you I've got lots of skill. You are a weak-minded fool. You stand no chance. I will absolutely destroy you. Prepare yourself, you ungrateful pig. My brother will destroy you. Show him what you've got, brother. You are just two disgusting filthy animals. You stand no chance against a breakdancing champion of the ages, like myself. You pigs are not disgusting and filthy. You humans are the ones who litter the earth with your trash. Nice one, brother. Now show him what you've got. Prepare to see my breakdancing skill, Janitor Jenkins. Sit back and observe.
What did you think of that? Your breakdancing technique is quite impressive. I am surprised. You must have hit at least 24,673,291 rotations per minute during that spin cycle. It's not bad, for an amateur. Now, you stupid pig, I will show to you, what a proper breakdance looks like. I call this one, mopping the floor. I completely destroyed you. You should see the look on your pathetic face. All you did was copy me. No, actually, you are the one who copied me. What? I went before you. How could I have copied you? That's not possible. That's exactly what a copycat would say. Besides, I danced the dance better than you. I hit at least 10 times your RPM. I think we all know who won here. Enough arguing. That was a nice display from both of you. We have to leave now before Big Pete finds us. Are you forgetting we are in the middle of a crisis here? Come on, Jinkings, let's split. I'm not going anywhere until this stupid pig admits that he lost the dance battle. Then, you can stay here forever. Let's run, brother. Leave him behind. One day I will dance battle you again, pig, and when I do, I will win so much that even you will admit it. Stubborn pig. Now that those two stupid losers are out of my way, I can get back to the two important losers. Stop it right there, I won't let you hurt another innocent live. My name is Miracle Worker number 27. I am a new member of the Miracle Workers group, and I have come here to defeat you. I have been watching over you for quite some time, and I think that now is the perfect time to defeat you myself. You will stand no chance against me. I have been practicing. All of these stupid interruptions are starting to get annoying. I need to move faster if I want to catch those two boys. But, I suppose, on the way, I can relax a little by destroying the nearest 50 nations. Because, if I burn down several countries now, I will have less work to do later. It is settled then, the two boys, will get a few extra minutes of free time and that's it. 
well, maybe 100 countries would be better for now. But after that, no more distractions. A dark air fills the sky, brother. Something horrible is happening right now across the planet. Dark days are upon us, brother. I can feel my earth shaking. Yes, it is truly the end of all times. Who said that? It is me, the dark one who lives in the shadows, the forgotten of all people. Some like to call me, Lax. Well, uh, Lax, do you know what is going on right now? Yes, the destroyer of all, Big Pete, has taken power just as prophesied by the Order of the Dark Clouds. In his reign of destruction, all will be destroyed, there's nothing we can do to stop it. However, I know a few good hiding places that will guarantee us as the last to die. If you come with me I will extend your lives. Actually, Lax, I am the ultimate warrior who was destined to defeat the Overlord Kek. I think if I train I can defeat Big Pete. You are but a weakling to him now. There's truly nothing you can do, you must listen to me. If we hide out long enough, we may be able to escape him permanently, and he may die over time while we will live. I have eternal youth, I cannot die from old age, but anything else can kill me. I have been living since the beginning of time, so, it's not like I have a problem with friends dying, if you don't want my help then you'll die, which is fine to me. I think we should listen to him brother, we are all out of places to hide. All of these conflicting thoughts are annoying me, I want to train to fight him, not hide from him. But, you must hide, if you do not hide, you will die, you are starting to waste my time now. He could show up at any second, and then it's all over for all of us. Brother I think we should listen to him immediately. But can I at least do 12,000 push-ups first? Or maybe run 13,000 miles again? Anything to help me train? You are done to think you stand a chance against Pete no matter how much you train. He has been foretold to be the destroyer of worlds, it's all over the ancient markings. Everything, and everyone alive in this universe, and all universes, will fall to him unless you come with me. I won't waste any more time with your stupid nonsense. I agree completely. No more wasting time. No, how did he find this? He's gotten even bigger than before. Yes, I've been destroying so much of the world at this point, that I am starting to put on muscle. You can just call me, Bigger Pete. How I tried to warn you all, I was a fool to waste so much time, we're all dead now. I shouldn't have let this happen. I think I have what it takes to defeat him. Ha ha ha, oh really? Well, let me show you my new power, by testing it out to the fullest on your friend here. No Pete, you can't. Quiet Lax, I have read all about your conspiracy group. I am surprised they were actually able to figure out I was the destroyer all along. It's a shame that no one believed you. No, it can't end like this, no. Quiet. Now that he is out of the way, I think I can finally destroy you two boys. I've been waiting a long time to do this. Run brother, quickly. On second thought, maybe he is stronger than me after all. Wherever did those two go? I won't let them escape me this time. There they are, behind the rock. Darn, I thought he'd never find us. Oh boys, let's get this over with, it's time for you to die. Never, run brother, come with me quickly. I didn't want to do this because it would ruin the fun, but I guess I'll have to destroy everything in the entire universe at once.
There is nowhere left to run now, boys. Just give it all up already. Brother Quick, run to that barn. He has destroyed every other living creature in the world, brother. Only his three remain. Yes, but even better than that, I destroyed all of those putridos too. You monster. Quick, I brought other in the barn. Brother, what kind of barn is this? I've been trapped in some sort of force field. I am stuck in the lasses, brother. What kind of barn is this? Ha ha ha. You fell for my trap, you stupid idiots. Now prepare to both die. I used the last of my power to destroy everything and make that force field. Now I am weak. Weaker than you, but you are both trapped now, so there's nothing you can do. I am going to kill your brother by boiling him in the most deadly substance known to man. Vegetable oil. No, anything but that, brother help. Brother, I'm stuck, I can't move. Ah ha 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 ha. Brother, you must avenge me, defeat Big Pete. Big Pete is a terrible person, he deserves nerves. And now it's your turn. This can't be really happening. I know right. Pinch me I must be dreaming. Big Pete, for everything you have done, I will destroy you. I will release you from the molasses now. Meet me on the roof of the barn. Well, here goes nothing. I suppose I may have overestimated you. I think my power is still greater than yours. We will have to see who is physically stronger in this one-on-one -on -one fist fight. Pete, I will kill you for what you've done. You will never kill me. Don't you get it? I've already killed you. I've taken everything away from you. There is nothing left for you here. Even if you were to kill me by chance now, it's too late. I've destroyed every living thing on this universe except you and I. You will run out of resources eventually and die completely alone no matter what. But, let me ask you something. Since we are the last two living creatures in the entire universe, when we both die, do you think that the universe will still exist? When the last living creature finally dies, who is to say the world still exists if there is no one left to see it? It is just floating rock with no eyes to see it, just floating there, in silence, without anyone able to hear or see it. Whoever wins this fight, will live out their last days in silence, wandering an empty universe walking on ashes, until they finally gives out. Then, there will be nothing, everything in this entire world will be gone forever, never to be seen again. After everything I've been through Big Pete, I know you don't stand a chance. Well, we will have to see about that then. Let's get on with it, this is a physical fight, no fancy moves. A one-on-one -on -one test to see who truly deserves to live, to be the last one to see the world. I wonder which one of us is truly physically stronger? Wait, where did you get that knife? 